Hey there, Melissa here, happy Friday. I'm back today with another video. Um, it's for my 52 Favourites album. It's a project that goes for a year and I was inspired by um, Kat Benjamin who is on the Paper Issues design team and she did this project last year and I absolutely loved it. So the aim is to um, pick a favourite photo from the week and it goes from Friday to Saturday I guess it would be. Um, Saturday being the first day, Friday being the last day and so this is my week for last week and what I chose was a screenshot of the weather here in Queenstown and basically the whole of New Zealand was promised, or not promised, was told we we're going to have this heat wave, the media blew it up into this terrifying thing, um, we haven't had very hot weather here for summer, not like last year, and so I had to screenshot this because all it did was show cooler temperatures and then a couple of um, 27s and a 29, which is hot, but it's really not that hot. So a um, bit of tongue in cheek with this one, but I just absolutely had to get it recorded. So I'm using an older scrappery kit which featured the Crepe Paper Good Vibes collection and um, because my photo is quite big, I decided I wanted to use a tag and put my journaling on it. So all I've done is um, put my double-sided tape on three sides to make a little pocket for my tag. As always, I love to add some twine on my tags. I can't leave them without. And in case you haven't seen my layout share or you don't follow me on Instagram, I have made a junk journal for my 52 favourites. It's not perfect. Um, one of the recent uh, shares that I did was my December daily actually. I made a junk journal for that too and somebody commented that they'd like to see a tutorial on how I made it. So my response to that was I will do it as soon as I'm, um, well, as soon as I've perfected my technique for the cover and also um, I want to make sure that I can get my signatures closer together. So as soon as I've done that I promise I will do a tutorial. So these um, are some little letter stickers that, I think they're from Studio Calico, and I won them at a crop. Um, I may have mentioned this months ago, but a friend had a little freckled form package and it was full of all these um, letter stickers, and I won them, and they were perfect, and I've gotten so many titles out of them. So I just put Heat Wave at the bottom, and at the top I'm putting Week 5, because it is Week 5. So I think it's the first week of February that it will work out, or in between. Um, and then I'm, this is the Summer Fun Collection by Echo Park, which I'm, I've based my entire, entire December daily around this. It also came from Scrappery a while ago, and because um, it's obviously some Southern Hemisphere and a, we're in summer at the moment, I was going to say Summer Christmas, which we had. Um, and here I'm using some gems and I'm just using them to highlight those three hotter days that we got. So um, then I'm looking, this has also come from my December daily kit that I made myself, it's from Coco Vanilla Studio and it just says hello and I thought hello heatwave was a um, good little title for this week. Putting my journaling on this tag, just writing about how, I um, can't quite remember but yeah that we were told it was going to be really hot, the whole country was getting a heat wave, and saying that some parts of the country were incredibly hot, but for us it wasn't really what they said it was going to be. So um, just adding some, um, I don't know what you call those, speech marks to kind of make it obvious that it's, you know, in quotation, heat wave, but it's not really. So because where I'm at in my little junk journal, I put a doily in to the signature, so I've got half the doily on this page, and I decided to add something else. Because I wasn't really able to embellish that little page because my photo was so big, I thought um, I could either make that little doily an intro to my next week, or I could use it for this one. So I've decided to go with using it for week five. Um, we were happy to have some hotter weather, so the yay is really appropriate. And then I just looked for something else. I looked in the ephemera pack that comes with the collection too, but I couldn't find anything. Um, that's the washi that comes in the in the kit, 
and in the end I just decided to go with this cork star which actually it does come from the ephemera pack and I just stapled it on so that is my little spread for week five um, I hope you enjoyed it I've got some photos coming up and I'll be back again soon take care